head, and there he goes. Abyss gonna clean him up. Olaf goes down. Everyone's just gonna line up here for Lazzy. He's gonna find himself the Quadra. I give it to him. Penta kill. Priestly with the quad feet. Gets the ace. Available just spin to win all over. That game was insane. Saints Nation, welcome back to Saints Gaming CA. Of course, you're home for the St. Clair Saints Varsity Esports team. And we are about to get started with the season opener here in the College Cod League. Call of Duty action just about to get underway here. Double header, two matches worth happening here tonight. My name is Dan Banner, also known as Mr. Danner. is going to be your host and producer for tonight's matchup. As, of course, St. Clair College is going to start things off versus the EIU Panthers in CCL action. So you may hear it in the background. I'm not going to actually sit here and waste too much time. We're going to hop right into the game right away. Why don't we? And as we do see, of course, on the left side, in the blue, it's going to be EIU. And then in the green, of course, as per usual, we've got our St. Clair squad ready to go. Starting off on hardpoint in the garrison. The spot, hardpoint's been pretty decent overall for the Saints so far, at least in the preseason and in the original uh, kickoff tournament. But still extremely early on i know i'll be a little bit nervous later on when they do start playing stuff like search and destroy because it's not exactly been their their best maps so far to say the least but garrison not too bad here for st Clair. get things underway previously going to start off nice alongside sauce nato is going to be able to get st Clair some control over their hard point for at least just a little bit get the tail end of this until Lavelle does end up going down. Piggy on the side of the EIU Panthers going to pick things up. Of course, talking about the uh, EIU Panthers, let's actually take a look and see who's there. We have I am Piggy, Excision PM, Ralph, and Kigo. I'm going to be rounding up the squad here today. Next point ready to go. Priestley, of course, defending alongside Brandon. Priestley with the double to keep everybody topped off, of course. On the same side of things, of course, Coach Captain, a.k.a. Lavelle, leading the charge alongside Priestley, Sauce Nato, and Brandon last. And Sauce Nato going to find himself one, but then Priestley ends up getting trade out here. He tries to gonna find himself another. Not going to be the case, though. Nice little flanking maneuver here from Lavelle, though, to get the double and keep Brandon nice and safe on the next checkpoint. He is eventually going to get rushed down. You can only hang on to that for so long for the respawn to start getting... A little bit out of hand. Sasnado going to try and trim things down at least a little bit. And of course, we're going to just have so much action, especially Tuesdays nowadays on the Saints. It is going to be an absolute cluster. I know some people are asking uh, where Counter-Strike is, but I am only one producer. We'll have to share the love in the stream until we get some additional hands on deck. Okay, Brandon looking for... This Somebody hanging on to the point. He's going to be able to find Piggy. Take some down. Basically, battle up. <laughs> Shot to the face. Why don't you? Dropping bows on him. Taking care of things. Sasnado going to go down, however. Lavelle hanging back. Making sure that the Saints get to hang on to that corner spawn. So even if they do go down, they can retreat and get this point nice and quick. Priestley around the corner. Thinks he's going to spot somebody, but if he's not too careful, does find Excision. Excision going to fire at him. Kigo as well right there for backup, so he's going to get outnumbered in that battle. Sasnado on point, though, going to come in clutch and make sure that gets held for at least a bit. Of course, for those who don't know, with the hard point style here for Call of Duty, basically just a moving control point that the Saints or the, uh, the Panthers have to control basically without any of the other opponents being on the site. As you do, you start getting more and more points. First to 250 will win this matchup. Priestley finds one, looks for the double, but Kigo going to shut him down. Sauce a little bit, on, or ha was on the point for at least a second, but it's going to get taken down. Lavelle Priestley going to be the first ones on to the site after the quick regroup. Panthers are regrouped onto the point and with a pretty decent spot to actually try and hang on to this. Lavelle, nice double. He's going to be able to clean up and then get out of dodge, which actually does also allow Priestley to get onto site and defend up against Ralph. Be able to hang on to it for another 20 seconds, possibly. Just keep on running up the score. Because right now, Saints are actually looking really good here on this Garrison hard point. Still extremely early, though. Sasnado going to go down to Piggy. And Saints have control over the hard point once again. The 
Bell takes the low ground while we do see Brandon actually getting jump on the Kigo. and could possibly even get the flanking maneuver. I'll have to keep an eye on that as it goes around and really start messing with some of the spawns here on the side of the Panthers. Priestley catches him inside. Gonna find maybe another. Does find Ralph from afar. Brandon actually gonna get himself on the kill board as well, taking Piggy down. So with the new point finally touched here, Saint's gonna be able to hang on to this for at least a little while longer. Not necessarily in the positions they wanted to be in, however. This could be the opportunity for the EIU Panthers to move on forward. Maybe find themselves another couple frags, but it looks like Brandon and Sas Nada are gonna just shut that down nice and quick after they both get two kills respectively. Or kill each respectively, rather. Although, a nice little play here from I'm Piggy to get the nice double, which should, in theory, be the opening they're looking for. But if anything, there's nobody else on the side of the Panthers to actually make the move. So, Saints are going to continue to hold on to this hard point. As it actually, never mind, it actually transfers over, but Saints are already in control of it. Of course, Brandon just constantly in the next control zone every single time it spawns, which is really allowing St. Clair to just completely run up the score on this uh, Panthers squad. Brandon down below actually going to find himself the double, eventually going to get taken down onto the point, but Sasnado going to be right there to catch it right back up, and he does have backup nearby as well. Brandon going to get back to the point after respawning. Continuing to load up the score, Priestley going to get jumped on, however. Nice little sneak attack there from Ralph. And Brandon's going to get naded out. Unfortunately, going to go down that situation. Sasnado going one for one. And now, actually, this is good for the Panthers. They're able to sneak on here, get the last 10 seconds. But it's actually, this point's basically all for naught. It's all about who can capture this point next. It's going to be the 1v2. Lavelle going to trade one for one. And could allow for Sasnado to get in here. He's contesting it. So nobody's getting points right here, right now. Sasnado opens fire. Not going to find it. Where is Priestley trying to... Shoot from afar, from a safe zone. Nobody's still really in control. They try to hop on, and they just get absolutely mowed aside. Sauce, though, nice little double. One with the gun, one with the grenade. And he's going to find himself at least an opportunity to sneak on for a second, but it gets shot down right away. This point is going basically back and forth, but it's always contested, so nobody's really scoring points with it until now, it looks like, unless Brandon can shut this down. He is going to contest, and he has the pistol whipped out. Not going to happen. Priestley continuing the contest as well, but not going to be the case. Sauce so going to find Piggy, but the only points for this uh, hard point basically going over to the Panthers. So they're going to be able to break that 100 mark. And then, of course, a little bit scary here for the EIU Panthers, considering St. Clair is uh, above 200. Only need themselves 50 more points in this garrison matchup to win the hard point. Things are rather spread out at the moment. It's also really trying to be careful. Pops out. He's going to try and find it, but it's not going to be the case. He goes up against two, and it's not going to go in his favor. Lavelle hunts down Piggy with Priestley, so that's a good opportunity for an opening. Brandon does go down. Priestley going to just take Ralph down right away. But as soon as he hops onto the building, he is going to be absolutely fragged out. Sasnado does spot Piggy. Possible sneak attack. Didn't quite get all the shots he was looking for. Position exposed, but he's going to still be able to clean up that double. May not have been exactly as clean as he was looking for, but he still makes the, uh, the play work. So with Brandon on the point, we do have ourselves a back spawn, as it's going to be Ralph, who <laughs> RNG be praised, is able to spawn behind the Saints and get the last little... The crumbs of that point, to say the least. Of course, now with Saints in control, this is actually really scary here for the Panthers. As we see a triple across all of the Saints here. Cleaning house as of right now. They can definitely win on this point if it's not contested. And as we see Priestley find himself the double. Right now, the Panthers are charging through, but they're still not finding the shots they're looking for. Lavelle and Priestley continuing to do their canvas, finding these kills. Ten seconds on the hard point remaining, but finally Priestley does go down. This could be the breather that uh, the Panthers need for at least a moment. 
And St. Clair able to hang on and get the recapture a couple seconds away. Excision going to find one. Brandon is still on the point, and that's going to be enough. St. Clair going to start things off right and get themselves the game one win here on the Garrison Hardpoint. Priestley going to find himself the best play of the game after the quick double. That a triple in this situation. And a quad because uh, wait, 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 right when I think it's done. It's not. <laughs> this is why I stopped predicting things. <laughs> All right, so a fantastic start right there for the Sinclair College squad in, of course, this best of five here for our very first CCL matchup. And I'm going to quickly take a look at what the maps are for tonight's game because, of course, we got onto that one pretty quickly. I was actually very surprised with how quick they hopped into that game. Okay, so we're starting off with the Garrison Hardpoint. Of course, we just saw that one. Now, Game 2 is going to be Garrison again, but this time we're going to be doing Search and Destroy, which is, of course, a map style or a game mode that has been rather difficult for the St. Clair squad as of late. The Kickstarter tournament for CCL seems like Search and Destroy was just the bane of them for the most part. I'm looking forward to seeing how they've adjusted in this about this week period, because it was last Thursday, so actually just under a week they've had to try and adjust. And then, going into map three, of course, control maps are very interesting to say the least, but it's going to be on Raid, one of the newer maps here in the pool. And then game four, if we do need it, is going to be Crossroads Hardpoint, and then Miami Search and Destroy to finish things off for game five if we do end up getting there. Of course, a big thank you to the sponsors that do make these matches possible, make these streams, make the team possible. Of course, that's all St. Clair, Tim Hortons, St. Clair College SRC, and the St. Clair College Alumni Association, PC Outlet, and the Zeckelman School of Business and IT. And of course, a big thank you to everybody tuning in. I know some people have been here looking for other matches in this, in this day, but of course, Tuesdays are absolutely nuts here on... For the, the St. Clair Saints varsity team with so many matches happening all on the same day. It's a good problem to have, but I definitely understand why some people might be looking for their friends team and not able to find it. But don't you worry. We do our best here to make sure that everybody gets some stream coverage as often as possible. And thankfully, they're going to hop into the game pretty quickly here. So right around the corner, of course, this time it's going to be Saints on the left side and um, EIU on the right. Now, of course, Search and Destroy, for those who aren't aware, compared to the uh, hard point that we just saw where you constantly run in, you may die, but you get to respawn and just try again, try, try again. Search and Destroy is not like that in the slightest. This is your more standard, I guess, your, your Counter-Strike, your your Rainbow Six kind of game style where you have to plant the you plant the bomb and you only have one life to do it. One side attacks, one side defends. So we're going to pick the same map that we were just on, but different game mode. We're going to be hopping into it in just a second. Here we go. Saints are going to start off on the attacking side. Priestley going to lead the charge here. Of course, you've got to be so much more careful knowing that you have absolutely no respawns. And actually, Ralph just trying to run for the hills nearly got himself caught out there. Priestley going to try and play around the tank as much as possible. Brandon is going to get taken down, actually. Excision going to find the first blow there. Lavelle on the high ground, trying to cover Sassanado, but Sassanado is going to end up going down here by Piggy. Lavelle's going to at least get the refrag onto Ralph. It's so, okay, the 2v3. Excision gets popped by Priestley, though. So now we have ourselves a two on two. But right now, the EIU Panthers, they don't have to necessarily try and hunt them down. As long as that bomb doesn't get planted, they've done their win condition. And we can see on the minimap near the B site, that is where the bomb is currently lying. Saints not in control of it as of this moment. Basically looking underground, Lavelle right above him, of course. 25 seconds, we see Kigo right up, basically covering this bomb as of this moment. Kigo opens fire, actually it's going to be Lavelle from the flank to take the shot. It's going to be all up to Piggy now, 
Piggy, of course, in the high grounds right above the St. Clair squad. Might be able to catch Priestley trying to plant. Does he see it? He sees Lavelle. Does he find Priestley? The bomb does go down right before Priestley gets taken down here. So he's going to be able to run back and get some health. Now it's all up to Piggy to try and get the defuse on this bomb now. He's going to have to take down Priestley and then do that. Otherwise, Priestley's going to just get him for free. It does get spotted out, and Priestley going to finish this off. So without question, a nice start for the Saints after what was looking like a little bit of an awkward start, actually. But, but solid job there from Lavelle and Priestley so far in this game. And if I do have to be completely honest here, um, I'm seeing Lavelle's tag on the kill feed, on the right side of the kill feed, so much more in this series already compared to some of the other matches because, of course, the role he plays is a little bit different compared to the rest of the team, a bit more of a supportive role. However, there would be time and time again where we see him get into a gunfight and then I just kind of hold my breath because it just hasn't been uh, super strong for him so far this season. But so far, nice adjustment on his end. Priestley going point blank here, going to take down Piggy and Excision, which means it's going to be all up to Ralph to try and plant this bomb. Of course, uh, the attacks or attacking and defending sides switch every single round. I mean, the bomb is going to be covered by Sauce NATO, and that's going to be Sauce. Of course, Trent's going to take care of that one and clean things up. First to six is the ones who are going to win this series. And so far, Saints going to start off nicely with a quick 2-0. All right, Saints on attack again here, going towards... The main gateway, of course, you have to go towards B in order to kind of even get anywhere near A, and it's going to be Priestley picking up the same position, taking some of the high ground, playing around the tank as best as possible. Ralph might actually catch up Priestley here. A little bit of damage done. Priestley going to retreat into the underground, make sure he's okay. Brandon going to be the first one to go down here in this round. We have Lavelle and Sauce kind of um, one on top of the other. It's going to be Lavelle getting shot down in this time. Right as I say that, I find him on the right side of the kill feed. He does end up going down. Sauce going to get the jump here onto Kigo. So nicely done. Two on... Or it's actually a one on two here. Sauce in a position to try and force the clutch. And it's not going to happen. I think that was a shot through the wall. Nicely done there for the EIU Panthers that stop the bleeding here. Get themselves on the board with the round. Okay, not necessarily through the wall, but just over the window. Nice little shot there from Excision. <laughs> now, most people overall tend to favor the defend defender's side of things. Rather just pick people off and not have to worry about the extra objective of trying to actually plant the bomb. That being said, right now it's going to be Kigo carrying it out for the EIU Panthers. The Saints kind of scattered as of this moment. We do see Sauce from the underground. We do have Brandon, Val, and Priestley all on the outside as of this moment. Sauce getting a couple shots near him, but none actually tagging him. Brandon looking for Ralph, not going to find him. Ego kind of pinched in here. Doesn't really feel like he has the opportunity to really make a move. Gonna have to rely on his other teammates to maybe try and blow a hole here somewhere. Lavelle already on the move rather early. Sauce Nato actually going to find a kill from above, and it is, or from below, and it's going to be on Kigo. Followed up by Lavelle. It's going to take down Piggy. Shots here from Priestley, and this is looking like a very solid defensive round for St. Clair, as it is all up to Ralph to try and make this 1v4 clutch. He's going to start off strong, however. Finds one. Can he find Priestley? Catch them jumping out, but it's going to be Priestley with the cleanup job. So with only one player falling on the Saints this time by, Saints are going to get their third point here in this search and destroy.
did a solid job on the defensive side of things. Let's see if they can get themselves back on board for the attacking run here. Toss, of course, bomb in hands, ready to go. Seems like this is just the main way to go all the way around. Up to go into the underground, maybe a little bit safer, but it's usually rather covered. Lavelle actually going to find Ralph again, so Ralph going down pretty quickly once again. Looking at Lavelle, because he could very well find the jump here onto Excision. Barely. Actually, no, he does going to end up finding that headshot. Lavelle finding two kills so far in this round. And he looks like he's going to find Kigo. That <laughs> Sam Tax nearly made things nasty. But it's actually going to be Brandon just a second ago <laughs> taking care of that one out of nowhere. So beautifully done there from Brandon. See, is this going to be Lavelle's shot? This is going to be that headshot there from Lavelle onto Excision. But Brandon going to clean things up after the fact. Couple seconds later. Of course, best of it's the best of three at the top. I do believe it's all, of course, best of five action here tonight. We're gonna at least see that control point no matter what, but Saints are definitely on pace to maybe find themselves a quick 3 0 in this situation. Okay, Ralph going to find some revenge, however. Does find the kill onto Lavelle to start things off. Brandon from the boxes, trying to make something happen. Keeps himself alive, at least for a moment. Sosnado in the underground once again. And Priestley is constantly just out here on the outside, trying to maybe catch somebody making a rotate. But all the action seems to be around Sauce. Of course, the cool thing about this underground path here is it goes right to the bomb's location. So if somebody isn't paying attention, doesn't check this area, and just goes to plant the bomb, he will have an open season on them. Long shot here from Brandon. Sasnado going to find one as well. Sas eventually going to get taken down by Kigo, but at least gets one prior. Priestley going to find Piggy. It's going to be all down to Kigo, who does have bomb in hand, so he could very well make the play. Has 20 seconds left to do it, and it's all up to trying to hunt down Priestley and Brandon before he can plant this. Priestley seems like he knows his location, though, and it's going to make things rather difficult. Goes right back to the underground. He's actually going to try and plant this thing. He doesn't have much time left, so he's going to try and get it down. He's going to be successful at doing so. But then Brandon is going to take him down right away. Priestley going to then hop on in and defuse that bomb. So that's going to be round number five going over to Saints with one point away to going up 2-0 in this series. Possibly last time here if Saints can make this attack stick. Sasnado, as usual, going to be picking up that bomb moving forward. We'll get to see if Lavelle can find himself a solid attacking run. He's going to look to try and get it started. Priestley actually going to open up the kill feed here with the elimination on Takigo. Sasnado going rather deep, actually, already pretty far in close to that B site. Brandon going to find himself an elimination as well. Piggy right below him, though. Does not realize that he's there. Going to come around. Piggy going to give his position away. Brandon, though, might be able to find the shots he needs, and he's going to be able to get it. Doesn't matter if you get jumped on first. If you, if you get the proper headshots, you're right on target. And there we go. St. Clair going to make this search and destroy look easy after a quick 6-1. Best play, of course, going over to that opening frag there from Priestley to finish off that round. All right, so 2-0, some quick rounds coming out here. And to be honest, these uh, EIU Panthers, it's uh, not even close at this rate. But we can hope for the sake of a competitive match that we're going to see the EIU Panthers pull out uh, strong here on this control point, which will be happening in just a moment. Of course, got to rebuild the lobby and whatnot. But so far, so good here for the same squad. Coming in after the... Rather, like, it's not awful, but I know in the kickoff tournament that happened on Thursday, they definitely wanted to go further than 1-1. One and one. 
That being said, though, the opponents that they did end up having to go down to was like a very, very tough squad. I know after watching the match there, or here on the stream after working that, I went to go see because the the esports club actually then had to go play them as well, like the next round later, and it was almost like an identical match. They were both uh, like rough hard points, and then was turned into a rough uh, search and destroy run. So I'm sure that the Saints don't want to uh, let that slow them down. Picked up rather, or they're picking up rather nicely compared to that one today. And of course, this isn't the only match here today as well. 9.30, there is, of course, another matchup here for the, the St. Clair Saints, as we do have, I believe, it's the CUAA squad coming up next after that. But before we even start looking into that, I'm talking as if I'm really uh, undermining our opponents here. So this, of course, we still have a game to play. So I better uh, not count them out yet. So, of course, it's going to be Raid again for game number three. We're just hopping into the lobby this moment here. Uh -huh. Yeah, of course... Before we do, so we do have a quick second here while we are taking a look at the getting the lobby all set up and good to go. I do want to quickly hop over to the schedule for the next matches that are planning on happening here on the Saints Gaming CA channel. Of course, we're going to start things off on Wednesday. We have, of course, League of Legends. We're going up against the University of Waterloo in Collegiate Action. Then Saturday, we do have Seelol. That's their default time anyway, booked there. If it does end up getting moved, unfortunately, then it is what it is. But then, of course, Saturdays are our double headers, which means one way or another, we're going to find some action here on the Saints stream as Rainbow Six Siege, our six collegiate championships, continue at 7. Then 5 o'clock, face it CSGO. Of course, Sunday night to CSGO is basically going to be a mainstay here on the channel, so be sure to catch that at 5. And then Monday, we're back with some Upsurge Minor League Amateur League of Legends. And then the rest of the week, we hop into Tuesday and the chaos begins. I don't have the schedule made for that because there's still so many matches. I got to figure out which ones to, <laughs> to actually pick out here. So be sure to follow us on the Saints Gaming CA Twitch channel and our Twitter and other social medias to make sure that you're completely up to date with what's being streamed what um, matches you can expect, of course, results, and then any sort of roster news as well. But it looks like one of the players seems to be having a little bit of technical difficulties on the side of uh, EIU. So we're going to quickly throw this to a very, very quick break. Should be within five minutes before we hop into the raid control point to see if Saints can sweep this in 3-0 fashion, or if we're going to be going to a game number four with the Panthers coming in clutch. We'll see in a second. <laughs> 